Well, good morning, guys and gals. This is BCR coming at you with another little ride, group ride this morning. I got four bikes behind me. I don't know if you can see them in my mirror. I got a street glide, electric glide, actually two electric glides, and um, a Kawasaki touring bike. I don't know what the, what it's called though. 80 and sunny here today in southeast Wisconsin. We're rolling through Rochester, Wisconsin right now. On our way south and west. Not too long of a ride because uh, most of these guys want to get back and watch the Packers Cowboys game. Not going to watch it myself. So I'm going to stay out longer than these guys and, and take the slow ride back. All right, guys, so here's the route we took. Uh, we went the 120.83 miles on October 8th. Uh, met the guys right here. Uh, this is the Illinois-Wisconsin state border, to give you an idea where we're at. Um, so we met in this area here, then we went west through Rochester. And Oak Knoll Road was that rustic road we took. So here's Rochester right there. And then this is Oak Knoll Road, which peels off of Washington Avenue, very pretty section here. And then we uh, worked our way over to Springfield. And in this section, let's see, right in here, on um, Springfield, just west of 120. It's a nice little overlook right here. Okay, then we went west to Delavan Lake. Right there. And continued west and ended up here at the Boar's Nest, right here in Allen's Grove right there. Then worked our way down uh, this Temperance Trail Road, nice little country road. And then back east into Fontana right there on Geneva Lake. And you can see Allen's Grove is not too far from Beloit which is on the Wisconsin-Illinois border. So yeah, nice short little ride. All right, back to the video. Getting some beautiful colors already, as you can see. Just turn on the Oak Knoll Road, which is a rustic road. I'll try to get a number for you. I didn't see one on the entrance sign. I haven't been on this road in ages. Western Racine County's got a lot of nice, beautiful, rustic roads.
hotel number is it though? Eh, it doesn't say. Sorry guys. That's the small um, end of Delavan Lake. Delavan Lake's a real long, kind of thin lake. We just came along the south shore. Oh, we just had a great lunch and some brews here at the Boar's Nest. We'll definitely be back. cool place all right well that was our first experience at the boar's nest in uh, I think it's called Allen's Grove Wisconsin now we're working our way down towards Fontana on Geneva Lake uh, we lost one rider, he's going home. I think he said he lives in Pewaukee. I had a little issue with my GoPro connection uh, back before we stopped for lunch. I had gotten a Facebook message and uh, it popped up on my screen and somehow blew my connection. didn't really miss much. You can't really see a whole lot of uh, Lake Delavan anyway from South Shore Road. Now this road here I've never been on so I'm kind of taking it easy. Looks like a nice road though. On the map it looks like it winds along a, uh, a creek really starting to warm up nice now. I left my jacket off. Got it tucked away in the saddlebag. It's about 74, 75 degrees. Assuming I go this way. All right, we're coming into Fontana now. Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna head up that way a ways too. At some point I'm going to peel off. I'm, I'm not sure where yet because I think Lake Geneva is going to be just nuts today with the traffic. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, a lot of fun. All right, here we go. Rolling 
through Elkhorn, Wisconsin now. Nice little town. All right, I'm gonna peel off here on 11 East. My buddies are gonna continue north on 67. See you, Jimbo. See you, Dick. Walworth County Fairgrounds right there. I saw Travis Tritt over there uh, many years ago. He put on a, about a three hour concert. We couldn't even stay for the whole thing. We're like, Christ, you know, we gotta get out and do the rest of the fair stuff. And every once in a while, if we were walking near, we'd, we'd uh, walk over by the stands there and we'd listen and, and I'll be damned if he wasn't still playing. He just went on and on and on. He was good though, don't get me wrong. Travis Tritt's one of my favorite country artists. Not sure why uh, country radio kind of forgot about him. Some many years back actually. Because he was a hit machine there for a while and then uh, all of a sudden they just stopped playing him. And uh, was never up for any awards or anything. Crazy. All right, well, we're up to uh, about 80 degrees now. Not a cloud in the sky. And if I didn't mention it, it is October 8th, 2017. Just a perfect fall day. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and end this now, guys and gals. Hope you enjoyed the ride. And hope you got some ride in today, if you had weather or anything like this. So this is BCR signing out. See you on the next one. And remember, Live hard and ride easy. Later.